You're, you're finding this very difficult, aren't you? You're 23. Yeah, that's right. And you're broke. Mm -hmm. um, as a result of which, you went on the streets. Yeah, that's right. Do you want to stop? God, yeah. I mean, um, I'm a student and basically my, my debts have mounted up and I didn't know how to get out and basically I just... I ended up getting into prostitution to try and pay the debts off. Yeah. I mean, do sorry, you... I'm a bit... Uh... No, it's all right. Lisa, do you have a pimp? <clears throat> do you have a guy who kind of manages you, as it were? No, I don't. I, w I was in a, a pub in sort of a rough end of town and yeah. I was really upset and a, a girl came over to me, she could see I was upset. Mm -hmm. And, and asked me what was wrong, and I explained the situation. I mean, I wouldn't normally talk to strangers like that, but I was just so desperate. Mm. And she suggested that it might be a good way out. She said that, yeah. How much, how much were you in for? How much did you owe? Oh, thousands. Thousands, did you say? Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, I came to university, and obviously, you know, you, the first time you're away from home, you sort of lived a high life for a while. Um, and then right. it just spiralled out of control. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> now, have you, have you managed to pay off any of your debts? Um, well, I'm starting to to make money that you know it's, it will clear them off, and I can see that if I you know if I stay with this, then I could pay them off. But I feel so cheap, and don't you feel scared as well? Yeah, my family are, they're all so proud of me. They obviously have not got a clue, mm. um, and I just I just feel a fake because they think you know I'm a perfect student. I'm going to get a good degree and a good job after it, but they just don't know the half of it. Why don't you ask them for the money? I've asked them for you know for some. Yeah. You know, whenever, you know, I'm, I'm stuck or, you know, when bills came through and my, I had no money, my dad sent me money, but I just feel so guilty asking them for money because, you know, mm -hmm. I know it, I, I just can't rely on them for that. It's not fair. Well, I mean, no, you can't, but in a situation like this, it's, they, I'm sure they'd far rather help you out than that you... I mean, I would if it was my daughter. I'd, I'd be absolutely horrified. I mean, I, you know, I, I can sort of understand how you got into it, um, but you really need to get out fast because oh, it's no. dangerous. Isn't oh. it? Well, I think <coughs> that your parents would prefer to scrape up money from somewhere than to have to stand in a police mortuary and look down at your body, and I'm, I am being scary now because that is the truth of it you are starting to walk into what is a jungle and every time i say that i get letters from people who say i have been a prostitute for a very long time and i'm still here well you know if you keep running across the road in front of fast motor cars a percentage of you will get to the other side but there'll be some who won't and you don't you have a future in front of you and you don't want to jeopardize it if you stay on the line, we'll put you in touch with some people who can give you financial advice to start with. Uh, but you have got to start to extricate yourself. You see, you get in deeper and deeper. Yeah, no. And the number of people who have said, I'll do it for a little while and then I'll get out, is legion. And you have so much ahead of you. And as Judy says, the last thing that parents would want is to think that you you tried to be kind to them by throwing your life away and that's what you could be doing yeah. so if if you stay on the line we'll put you in touch with people who can help you please lisa you you've made a really bad mistake i'm not i'm not saying that in a moral sense yeah. i'm not making any moral judgment at all but you really have made the wrong call big 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 wrong call um uh, it, go on if i if i stay with it i, I know i can pay, pay the debts off but i just i, I can't carry on living like this how long how long have you been doing it for only a couple of months how many how many men roughly have you gone with Oh, I don't know. I mean, not a lot, but... No. Look, you're, you're going to, at some point, forget the motor, you're going to get beaten up. And that's, and that's going to have to be explained away. Um, at some point, someone's going to move, move in on you. By that, oh. I mean a pimp. Someone's right. going to see you operating, and these yeah. guys are seriously scary. Yeah. You know, they are, really are. You're probably going to get mixed up in the drug culture, because they do, because casual prostitution does tend to get into that circle in, 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 in terms of the gangs. You might end up <coughs> finding, finding yourself hooked, because it happens. Um, it's, it, you, you say it's a jungle. I think yeah. the jungle's a back garden compared to what you're going to get into. And I think you've been incredibly lucky so far. You've got to stop. Mm. Uh, and if, if, I was, if I was your dad, uh, I'd, I'd, give him, I'd give everything to, to stop you doing this and yeah, protect you from this. And your dad would too. Look, students get themselves into debt. It happens. Some students get themselves massively into debt. It happens. It doesn't make you a bad person. It just means you screwed up a little bit. Mm. To please talk to your parents about this. Obviously, don't tell them what you're doing, but tell them that it's serious debt and, and, and you yeah, need some help. I have tried, you know, but I just I feel so well, guilty. Will you talk first to a financial advisor who deals <coughs> with this sort of thing and will help you to work out 
the, the extent of your debts and other ways. There are other ways. Okay. Stay on the line yeah. and we'll put you in touch. And, and okay. may, go to your tutor. You know, you must have a, a tutor who you like. Yeah, I couldn't tell them that. No, though, don't no. tell them what you're doing, but, but just say, look, I've got a terrible problem. Um, I owe all this money. What the hell am I going to do? They're used to it, right? This goes with the territory. You need, you need to have that debt managed for you. Yes, you do. Elise says a yeah. professional can do that. I really can manage it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Please, you please, 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 people. please stop. Please stop. Don't, don't you've been, it, it's like the running over the road thing. You've been so lucky so far. I mean, I, my, you know, my brain goes white thinking about what, what you could happen to you tonight. You know? Look, so, all right, all right uh, thank you very much, Lisa. <coughs> now, listen, let, let's end this <laughs> on a completely different note from...